So, you found me. That's just grand. If you can find me, so can they. I should never have started studying the focus sites. But how was I to know Jack was interested in them too? Yes, Jack of Blades. Look, I have no time to explain. You can read my journal if you want. I don't want it anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. It's not safe for me here anymore, thanks to you. We have two winners! Incredible! So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy in it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight, but I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show, and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Rogue. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. She was a fine hero, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood, and in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Rogue, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison, 
Ever since the night of the raid, I haven't been able to get inside. But the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Polite to leave without saying goodbye. Bastard! This child of yours is quite the hero, dear Scarlet. Did you know he's being crowned arena champion? You would have been so proud of him. It must run in the family. That and getting locked up in one of my charming little cells. You disgusting freak! Let him go! He doesn't know anything. No, oh, I think you'll find he knows a great deal. You see, the arena seal I gave him has been showing me his every movement. It has been most entertaining. Digging up graves, saving old fools, meeting with that crazy sister of his. Teresa? Yes, it appears your darling little daughter is alive too. She's told him all about the sword, and that wretched bloodline of yours. And now, my sweet, you're going to tell me where the key is. The darkness of the cell consumed the hero's mind. And it consumed his life too. Another year would pass by in this prison. Another year of torture. The ancient, noble blood in his veins, the power of the guild, none of it meant a thing inside these walls. And all this time, Jack of Blades was free to roam Albion. The hero would not be beaten, he would be free. Revenge burned like a sun within the hero, and his destiny was clear. Jack had cast a shadow over the whole of his life. He had been the architect of his sister's blind suffering and of his mother's imprisonment. And soon his power would be absolute. You didn't turn out too badly, after all. You did pretty well back there. But there's still so much to do. Jack is getting closer to the sword. I can feel it. He needs a key to unlock the sword from its hiding place. And now he knows where it is. The key is in Hook Coast, hidden in the ruins of an old abbey. You have to get to it first. We have one advantage. He doesn't know the key will only make itself known to one of our bloodlines. That's why we have to find your sister. As long as she's out there, Jack could use her. You should go to Darkwood and investigate the portal. There must be some way of activating it. It's the only way to get to Hook Coast. But first, I have a gift for you. There's power in your blood that hasn't been tapped yet. Feels good, doesn't it? From now on, I will be able to talk to you through your guild seal. Now go. I will try to find Teresa.
you're alive. Yes, I, I was worried when you disappeared. Your sister. I know. I had to tie her up. Jack is controlling her somehow. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to stop him. He's lying. He's the one working for Jack. No, she's trying to confuse you. She's... There is really no time for this, old wizard. Finish the ritual maze. I'd like my key now. It's almost over, and it will be easier with the boy here. So, you escaped my little cage. I'm surprised it took you so long. I trust you didn't lose too much of that precious blood of yours getting out. The Septimal Key. You've hidden from me far too long. Take our two blood bags to the chamber. I shall be there soon. Surprised? You shouldn't be. Only an idiot would oppose Jack. You can't win, boy. The world belongs to Jack now. I was wrong. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Jack. <coughs> you haven't got much time. He's using the key to activate the focus sights all over Albion. Then the sword will be his, and it'll be too late. They'll be trying to stop him. None of them can. Oh. You want to know why I did it, don't you? I suppose I'm just an old coward boy. We don't all embrace death. Easily. For some of us, the quest, the only quest, is to escape death. Whatever the cost. And it looks like I failed. You're back. Things are far worse than I'd feared. Maze's betrayal surprised us all. But we have larger problems. Jack is trying to activate the ancient focus sites across Albion. You must stop him at all costs. I will explain more over your guild seal. Now, step through the Cullis Gate. Jack has to be stopped. He's activating those rocks. Always thought they were damn ugly things. I don't want to die for them either. I guess we'll just have to kill them first. Come on, follow the path and turn right. So Maze couldn't hold you. He wouldn't have seen the end of the day anyway. He had outlived his usefulness. You're too late here. This site is active. But don't worry. I haven't finished with you yet. Looks like he's done whatever he was doing. But that portal is still open. Follow him through. I'll stay here and teach these animals who Briar Rose is. you weren't going to make it. You'll never catch up with me. How do you like the new world? This is just a taste of what's to come, my boy. Just two more to go now.
Sweet skull. I hope there is still some blood left in those hard old veins. But look, here comes a fresh supply. Are you ready to see the guild burn, hero? Stop him! There's nothing we could do. He has power like none I've ever seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, Avo will help us all. Stop him, lad! For all our sakes, stop him! What a touching family reunion. The mother, the son, the daughter, and the sword. There's only one thing missing. It's your blood next. Then I will make this world burn. the choice I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the Sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the Vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? where they belong now. Lost forever. It's time I found where I belong. I know it isn't here. See you around, brother. The hero's triumph was complete. Albion was freed from the dark shadows that had plagued it for so long and a peace it had not known for centuries had begun. <laughs> 